friend, thank you so much for joining me today because today we are all going to be very grateful for a very certain style of pajama. Yes, pajamas, PJs, things you sleep in. I don't know any other words for them. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to be specifically focusing on the ever epic onesie. Onesie, but not just any onesie. Today, in this amazing, fantastic art tutorial, we will be creating an octopus wearing a onesie. Yeah. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we are drawing a an octopus wearing a onesie. Yes, yes, an octopus wearing a onesie. It's happening, guys. Okay. Big guy. Remember, this is a Mizartastic YouTube channel where we make things up on the spot. That's what happens. All right, we are gonna draw a rectangular pupil in here. Yes, that looks good. And two curving triangles on either side. Okay, color in your rectangular pupil, leaving just a little sliver on one side white. All right, we're gonna draw a smaller eye over here. So we're gonna draw a circle, but a smaller one because we want it to be foreshortened and things that are further away appear to be smaller. So we're gonna do that. Draw another rectangle, same deal where we color in most of it, leaving just a sliver and add, well, I can't draw small enough lines really. So if you don't, if you can't draw small enough curving triangles, just, Mark it off or you're going to leave a little bit of white. Okay. Add a big blob in the back there. And now we're gonna draw some lines. So we're gonna draw as many legs that as that we can see. Now octopus have eight legs, but we might not be able to see all of them because they're on the other side that we can't see, right? If I have my hand in front of this hand, well, I can't see all of my hand that's behind my other hand, right? I can only see a little bit of my tips and my wrist, right? I can't see my thumb. So we might have some legs that are farther away or on the opposite side of the body. So we can only draw the legs that we can see. So we're gonna do one leg at a time and see how many can do. So I'm gonna draw a second one here. Now yours might be a little bit different from mine. So just draw yours however it feels for you on your page. I'm gonna have one peeking off the body here. Maybe I'm gonna have one curving up and over. And that's all I have, I think, room for. Oh, what's going on with this marker? Okay, then I'm gonna connect. Or maybe I can just have one, just a bit of a leg peeking out like that in the background. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see six of my legs. I know there are eight, but again, like we said, sometimes things are behind other things and we can't see them. That is called overlapping. And that creates the illusion of space in our artwork. All right, let's give our lovely octopus here some spots and some lines around the eyes for some added detail and expression. And we'll go around the edge of the hef, whole head here. Like that, okay, let's give it a onesie. Right where the legs stop and the body starts, makes a big thick line across for the top of the onesie. Okay, and then we're gonna add a second line for the rim of it. And then you can go ahead and add whatever 
pattern you want onto your onesie. And I think I'm gonna go along the bottom. Like, you know how like on your, sometimes on the feet of the onesie, there's like a little foot pad that gets a different color. I think, well, octopus have really long legs, so they're gonna have, mine's gonna have like really long pads along the bottom where it's like a different color. Yeah, oops, I forgot this one. All right, and once you're done, go ahead and grab your favorite colors and color in your octopus.
And once you're done, your onesie wearing octopus is done.